Hello everybody. Um, today is the 18th of September 2019 and uh, I'm looking at a couple of elms um, that I've well, I've just had growing on really. Um, they were actually collected from the side of the road. Uh, one of those dealies where, especially in the country lanes and places where there's not huge amounts of traffic, uh, they tend to just lay a a layer of tar or whatever it is um, and then sprinkle gravel and grit all over the top and then they leave a loose chipping go slow sign up for the next two years. Um, gradually uh, the chippings get ground into the the tar or whatever um, but a lot of them get dispersed and particularly some of the country lanes around here uh, you know six eight inches out from the the grass verge there's often a inch inch and a half layer of um, grit and gravel and uh, elm being elm in the hedges getting cut back throughout suckers um, through the grass verge and actually into this layer of grit which meant I was able to just literally pull them out um, of this grit and then sever the the runner of the root um, from a forefinger almost so they've been put in pots um, put away this one's been just tucked away and see I've hit it with the strimmer a few times and the pot uh, started to split um, but I think what I want to do with these is um, uh, I'm thinking I'd like to do a couple of broom trees broom style trees this one in particular lends itself to that uh, I'll have to lose these low branches but I'll leave them on for the rest of this summer I'll be repotting these in the spring I'm making this video now so you can see a little bit of preliminary work prior to repotting them um, this one's been in a much more sheltered shady spot um, and is still very green whereas this one has been out in the wind and all sorts of weathers and uh, it's actually turning its autumn colors now uh, Lot of gone, lot of gone brown and actually fallen off, and then others which are in various shades of green to yellow. Um, so again, I'm not going to cut it all back at the moment. It will get a good cut back when I root prune it in the spring. But uh, for now, I'm going to let all the goodness from these leaves turning go back down the stems and into the roots that are there it nice and strong over winter ready to repot but what I do want to do for example this tree um, I really like this V really liking this V in the the trunk um, I'm figuring probably cut it back to sort of here and here um, and start building ahead from that but it's uh, it's going off to the left um, and also the trunk uh, has a sort of kink in it just here so I've got myself some thick wire which is I'm reusing and uh, I'm just going to try and pull this piece back upright somewhat I'm using a double layer because it's quite a thick stem that I'm trying to move And being a double lever, layer, it's quite, uh, it's actually quite tough to put on. So, but I can just straighten that up. I don't want it to be dead straight. I don't want it to be sort of. Just use that piece. That's better. So yeah, that's brought it a little bit more straight and a little bit of judicious tweaking. My Y becomes more natural. Um, the trunk has just a little movement in it. I know my wiring's terrible, but it gets the job done. And by spring, hopefully that will be set into place. Uh, shorten these back 
head to follow. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. And then this one. Um, I'm not sure what the roots are like, obviously. Under here, um, it is well and truly rooted into the pot. So I'm hoping I'll get a good root base. Obviously I'm thinking this will be my front and um, from these two pieces here will be the basis of my broom. Uh, this piece I will lose, this piece will come off but I'm going to let, let it finish out the year with it on. Um, it's going to be quite a short trunk to here so it won't be a tall broom but it's a vigorous tree I'm hoping it'll be quite quick to at least begin to form a head. Um, I don't like these being quite so far spread apart I'd like that to come up a little bit more in that manner so that's just to prove I'm not a total screwed all of the time I'm going to use a new piece of wire on this and um, hopefully just encourage this to come up a little bit So that they're actually crossing now at the top um, because almost that entire length will be chopped away ready to make the room. Okay so that's about it for now. Um, yeah that's about it for now so thank you all for watching and uh, please as always take care of yourselves.